V5, this is number 9. Okay, the directions are solve this equation for C. So solve x equals C plus D over 4 for C. Okay, that is my final answer. It should be C equals, and then I should have some expression over here. Okay, so even though I don't have values here for x and d, I'm going to follow my algebraic process and do the same steps that we've been doing in order to get c by itself. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I look at this problem, the first thing I see is there's a fraction. Right? There's a fraction. So when I, to get rid of fractions, we do the same thing that we've done before. Multiply by the least common denominator. In this case, there's only one denominator, so I multiply by that. Okay, multiply everything by 4 is going to make the problem a bit simpler to deal with because I won't have a fraction. So to multiply both sides of this equation by 4, let me rewrite it first. x equals c plus d over 4. Any problem with a fraction in it, that's the first thing I want to do. Multiply by the least common denominator, it's going to get rid of my fraction. So I do that times 4, times 4. When I do that, on the right hand side my 4's cancel out, I'm left with C plus D, and over here, 4 times X, 4X. Okay, so in one step, I've cleared the fraction, and now I'm on one step from my solution. Remember, the goal was to keep in mind what you're trying to solve for, trying to solve for C, so I can get C by itself if I get rid of the D. When I say get rid of, in this case, it's going to be subtraction because it's added to the C term. Right, so if I subtract D, D minus D is 0. So that's gone. Over here, I'm left with just C. But remember, if I subtract a value from the right side, I have to subtract the same value from the left side. So if I subtract D over here, I have to subtract D. Okay? But I can't subtract D from 4x, right? These aren't like terms, so I can't do the subtraction. So all I have to do is write it just like that. 4x minus D is 4x minus D. Right? It doesn't get, I can't simplify that further because those aren't like terms. Okay, so my final answer, once I follow the algebraic process, the same algebra steps we've been doing before, is 4x minus d. Okay, so we're done with that one. And uh, going on to your next problem, remember, do your homework, keep working on your homework, got to do your homework to finish this class.